Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How, exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You too? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about Zenus. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. If we want to take their shields down. I'll be gentle with it. I promise. Good. Without it, there's no payback. Don't worry. Payback's all I think about. Aloy, aren't we meeting at the beach near the Zenith base? We are. I just wanted to check in on everyone first. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals. From the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. If that one's not working right, you can 
have one of my spare focuses, you know. Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. Save my butt with those spectras. Wouldn't feel right to leave it behind now. You know, besides, it, uh, you know, it goes with my outfit. Wouldn't want to spoil your look. Faro made the right call, you know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, Varl. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to the Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink, just one, mind you. And we talked about family. Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge. How you helped us. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the Embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got round to it. World ending and all. No time like the present, though. If you're up for it. You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh. So, how did Ursa escape Mad Sun King Jaron's palace? <laughs> Well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. And, you know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Thinking somehow that was gonna appease all the other deranged machines in the world? Ha! And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. Yeah, she defeated all of them. Even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the mad Sun King was impressed, I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed humiliating her that way. I remember you telling me something about that. That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but, but what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so... He got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. Now you have perfumes, veils, and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. Oh man, Ursa would have rather fought her way out of that palace with her bare hands than put on all of that Karja eye paint. But Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed under one condition. Avad had to dress up as well. She made a... Vod dress up like a noblewoman? As perfumed and powdered as a babe. Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever did in a crown. That would, uh, definitely... ...make for an interesting sight. I work like... ...a charm, too. Not only did they make it out of the palace, they paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border, and none were the wiser. You were right. That was a story best told over a drink. All good stories are. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. With my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way.
come to rattle the cage. That's all for now. Leave. So, you return. Something else? I'll be going. As you wish. You nervous? I'd be lying if I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. The plan will work. If we all focus on our assignments. Right. The rest of us should be enough of a distraction to the Zeniths for you to hack into their network undetected. But you'll have to be quick, in case they do. Uh, what exactly do you expect me to find, Aloy? I don't know. The truth, if we're lucky. Once all this is over, will you... Go back, across the ocean? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more worried I become. If I go back, I don't even know if they'd let me keep this focus you gave me. Or what they'd do to me for reading what is clearly forbidden data. Even if I somehow were allowed to carry on my duties as a diviner, would I be willing to let the truths I've learned about the ancestors be buried away by the Board of Overseers? Would I dare challenge them and risk my family's safety? Or... losing Fadera? Who's this Fadera you mentioned? She... is another diviner. One of our best. We used to be rivals at the Academy. <laughs> I hated her guts. But apparently there is a fine line between hate and love. We became very close, and then I was assigned to the expedition. She promised she'd wait for me, no matter how long it took. Well, that was smart of her. She won't do any better. Yeah, I don't know about that. I do. I want you to know I'm glad you're with us, Alva. Whatever happens, I'm grateful that the legacy brought us together. I never thought I'd get to actually meet an ancestor. Come on, do I look that old? Katala will protect you inside the Zenith base. I'm not afraid. I know Katala will fulfill his duty, as will I. If we die doing so, at least it'll be alongside a friend. I'd rather you both stay alive, if you don't mind. We'll try and keep that in mind. I need to get going. I'll be at the rendezvous point. May truth lead us to victory. So, how are we feeling about the mission? I do not know everything that you have planned. But it doesn't matter. All that remains is to follow you to the end. Whatever that will be. Thank you, Katalo. I'm glad all this brought us together. You brought us together. And I am grateful too. Oh, and by the way, I was hoping now would be a good time to go back to the Tremor Tusk site and test my new arm, before we leave on our mission. Right. I'll let you know when I can make my way there. Thank you. Now that training time is over, what's on your mind? The Bulwark, the Kulrit, and how we need another miracle if we're to survive the Zenith base. I'll try not to let you down. I know you will not. We didn't really get to talk about what happened at Gemini. There was nothing more to say. If he were to knock, Varl's bravery would have earned him sacred burial at the Grove among the most distinguished of our tribe's warriors. 
his deeds were worthy of the Ten. When the fight is done, I will have the Inkers etch his memory on my skin, so that it may live on. I'm sure he'd be honored. I'll see you soon, then. It will be my honor. Welcome back, Aloy. Would you like to continue our chat? I should be going. I'll be making final preparations. Everybody's ready for this. Fighting the Zeniths isn't going to be easy. Aloy, nothing you do ever is. At least, now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. Everyone here, training, working together. If it weren't for Varl, none of it would have happened. You know, there was this one night, right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini. He realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was nervous about the mission. To be honest, I think we both were. So, he asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there, just looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. You and Aaron seem to be on better terms now. He may have terrible taste in music, but he did apologize for mocking my tribe. And that ale he keeps raving about isn't half bad. I still plan on beating that stubborn face of his to break our sparring stalemate. Try not to hurt him too bad. I should go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care, and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So... Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home, okay? So you made it. Welcome to the hunting grounds. My name is Avina. I'm the caretaker of the grounds. I make sure they're kept fit for training against machines, whether they be used by our soldiers or our Utaru neighbors. Same as the Karja, then. Ah, yes. 
We've heard those cowards claim the idea of hunting grounds as their own, but our soldiers have been training in places like this since before the clan wars. I'm willing to bet our trials are beyond anything the Karja would dare face. A skilled hunter like you might actually find them challenging. Rewarding, too. Win our trials and you'll earn stripes. That, in turn, will garner you some medals. Remnants of our victory against the Karja during the Red Raids. You can take medals to the arena at the Grove, our capital. Its keepers will let you exchange them for the finest weapons and gear our tribe has to offer. I'll keep that in mind. I should probably also mention our carver. They make pieces for a popular game of ours. Watching the machines at the grounds gives them inspiration. You mean strike? You know of it. And maybe you should check out their wares. Carvers almost always have extra pieces to trade for the right resources. I should get going then. I have other grounds to inspect, but rest assured they will be open to you. Walk with the ten. Are these your hunting grounds? They are. Try a challenge, and we'll see if you live up to your reputation. I'll be here when you ret- Then? I should take care of everything I can before calling in the others to attack the Zenith base. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. the others not far behind 
Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Shall we? I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Erend, you're with me. You guys? Take the high ground, in case we need covering fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. We're here, and we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Beware, Eloy. Spectres ahead. Company, follow my lead. That's what I do.
think you're right. Find anything? Yeah. Might get us through that ridge. Let's climb up to it. What's in this backpack, metal bricks? Aloy, Alva and I are closing in on the regulator. Keep me posted. It's creepy in here. Don't worry, I'll protect you. I wish I had a glider. I guess I'll find another way across. Yeah. A lot of I'm not really built for climbing. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Another Spectre. Sneak or fight, you choose. Stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate stormbirds. But I guess uh, that yeah, dead one's Uh, 
I'll attack when you. Here, up this rock. Hey, you okay? Yeah. I'll find a way back up. You down there? I'm okay. I'll climb back up. Climb back up. I think that's all of them. Oh, you like that? Hey, you want me to hit you again? Let's push on. Just some parts. We're gonna have to climb around this corner. Well, I'm trying not to complain. Are you still going? I can see the way forward. Keep moving. Go as fast as we can. You all right? Sort of. Well, then we want to fight at once, that's for sure. Hey, Lloyd. Alva and I are in position. Do it. Blow the regulator. A moment before I ignite the charges. Alva and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. Come on, Beta, come on, come on, come on. What is that?
army. I think you got their attention. Very clever. You had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. And now it can crank out machines to its heart's content. tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. Your maneuver, as clever as it is, means that Hephaestus has escaped containment. It will no doubt flew back to the Cauldron Network. We grabbed it once, we'll get it again. Or we'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. The Apollo database. But a big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha. This one, all the specters are fighting our machines. Ah, oh, that would have made it nice and easy. I grab it if you need it. This will help. They can handle it.
This way. Big jump. To the right, I think. Try using acid ammo. And now to the left. You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Aloy! Another one? By the blood of the ten! Ah, uh, let's get into it. Not fear. Let's send you back to the fort. Huh? Oh. Let's go. Over here, Aloy. This way. Demon! Return peacefully to the cycle. Please. She cared nothing for peace. At least she died on her own terms. Not as her puppet. Oblivion draws no such distinctions. That's cold. Are you sure you're not a senior? Aloy, it's been intense. A Catalo got me to a network node. I'm trying to get in. Keep at it. We're almost to the tower. 